Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday and Friday, the 14th and 15th of April 2016. Welcome to Tax Day 2016. We usually don't do a market preview on Thursday nights going into Fridays because Fridays tend to be the wrapping up of the week. Everything we've already been talking about has come to fruition. This week shouldn't be any different with Friday being Tax Day and also uh, options expiration, so it's going to be a slight day. Uh, we, did sit, we did get a dual direction options unraveling move today. Wasn't a big one anyways, didn't even cover average daily range. Uh, started out to the downside, but then came back up. Volume was was higher than the last couple of days, so you can tell the options unraveling was in there. Maybe there's still a little bit more to do on Thursday, but Friday is probably going to be a waste of time. Uh, obviously, barring any special news. Here's a look at the uh, ES. This is very important. Everybody focus on this because this is really critical. We talked about this last night. This is uh, the first time I slide back the chart. Okay, The first time... In quite a while, going back to actually uh, February of last year, that we got a 13 seeker sell signal in the daily chart. Last year, that was the high of the year called by the, uh, the seeker tool. And here we are right now getting that tool again. Uh, you know, we've got some room, some wiggle room here for where the risk level is, a little bit higher than where we're currently at. But overall, this is a broad market sell signal. It doesn't mean that we have to just immediately drop tomorrow. It doesn't mean we're going to be in a rush to drop. Just generally means that when market's exhausted to the upside, uh, the target, the ultimate target of this, is the red line at 1885. So be aware of that. That's going to change up the character of the market for a while. If it plays out, there's about an 80% chance these things play out uh, properly. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, crude oil was uh, down 18 cents for the session. Not a big deal. Gold was down 15 dollars and 50 cents. A little bit uh, more significant there. Uh, the S&P cash index, if I put this in projection mode, there's the 13 cell signal on the, on the cash index as well, as you would expect. And uh, that was up 20 uh, for the session, including a gap up that we did not fill. We'll take a look at that in a minute. NDX was up 58. SOX was up 15. SOX approaching new highs for the year. This is an inverse head and shoulder formation, which means a breakout over the highs would usually be a positive, but obviously... That's in conflict with that 13 sell signal on the broad market. Here's a look at the biotech index up off of that 13. Notice they had the buy signal back a couple weeks ago. That obviously worked out fine, up 55 points for the session. VIX dropped back a dollar one today, but again, this has a 13 buy signal in place. As the VIX heads higher, the market should head lower. Trend at 1.04, and the 10-day moving average now down uh, under one. So be aware of that. A reading on the 10-day under 0.85 is a sell signal for the broad market. NASDAQ volume, 1.77 billion shares. Advanced decline ratio, plus 1638 on the NASDAQ, plus 1600 on the New York. Uh, Google up $7.59, still flat in a range for the last couple of weeks. Apple up a buck 60, trying to put a new high close for the year, I believe. Amazon, 13 sell signal here. Just on the day they announced their new Kindle Oasis, be aware of that, up $11.67. Netflix up $2.67 on the session. Haven't had a uh, 13 signal there in a while either at all, so it's interesting to get that on the broad market. Let's take a quick look at the intraday action, five-minute candles. You can see the gap up, one little attempt to pull it over. That was where the volume actually picked up one hour in. That's usually where the options unraveling move starts. It ended very quickly, and then we kind of curled back. It looks like there might have been some um, counter options unraveling moves for the day. But at any rate, we ended up closing uh, higher for the session, did not fill the gap, keep that in mind. NASDAQ side flat, uh, gapped up, pushed higher, and closed near the highs of the day. So overall on these, uh, by the way, we did not fill the gaps, that's important. Range for the day was not as good as it was the prior day. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video, we had a nice trade today in Lulu. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video about this. Very nice base breakout here. The trigger was 62.48, um, but there's a couple of very key technical factors that played out, and of course the 13 sell signal to get you out at the high of the day. I'll make a separate video for that. That was one of our nice trades uh, for the session. All right, so what do we have to look forward to for the rest of the week? Because I probably will not check in with a new video tomorrow night. So let's discuss uh, Thursday, big number, CPI. That can move the market. Uh, also initial and continuing jobless claims. That's the weekly number. Those are all an hour before the bell at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and then Natty Gas at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We've got the Empire Manufacturing Index an hour before the bell on Friday with capacity utilization and industrial production 15 minutes before the market. The first look at Michigan sentiment for April, 30 minutes into the market, and then at the close, of the tick, net long-term tick flow is not a big deal. So we do have some data left for the week in the form of the CPI and the capacity utilization industrial production in particular uh, that can move the market. But again, Friday, 
options expiration. It's only a single expiration. It's just April, uh, but it still means we're usually pretty slow for the expiration. Next week, we really get into more earnings. A lot of I'd say next week's the biggest week of earnings, it looks like, Intel, Microsoft, and all the other goodies. So I think the market's kind of been waiting for some of that to get going. Um, but we have drifted higher, and again, focus on this 13 cell signal. Very important. Such a powerful signal. It's really wrong. Uh, charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal 12. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. Have a great trading session.